Oh, your girl lives in Korea? So I travel back and forth from NYC to Korea? Oh, you doing that long distance? That's ham. I will never be able to do that. My man said his girl live in Korea. Why you don't get her to move? Why you don't get her to move in with you? Or if you don't want to live in New York, why don't you just live with her? That's what I would do. Honestly, nah, I would rather have her live with you. That's what I would do. I would just be like, yo, just move in with me. So we don't need to like go back and forth. Because eventually that's the end game, right? With a long distance to move in together. Yeah, but come on, man. That's a that's long distance, bro. That's not even like a few hours away. That's like that's like 40 hours away. A 10 girlfriend? What is that? What is a what's a 10 girlfriend? What is that? Yeah, that's OD, yeah. Hey, what is that? A 10 girlfriend. Round three. Fight. He said he left his wife and everything for her? Oh, he dumb. He must have been extra thirsty. Yeah, if you don't have no swag, you done though, Soshido. Swag is important. Swag is a combination of money and confidence. And if you don't have both, you're not getting nothing. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So Shido, if that's the case, why why is FT struggling then? Oh, good, Soshido. Yeah, so basically what I said. Damn, I'm, I'm, yo, I know my shit, bro. Yeah, that's what I told him. I said, like, you might as well just have her, like, like, honestly, like, if my girlfriend didn't live in New York, I would literally get her to move in with me. That's what I literally would do. I'll, I'll, I'll bring her to my realm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do if my girlfriend didn't live in New York, but... Luckily, my girlfriend does live in New York, and we both live in New York. And if we want to move in together somewhere, like, we could just do it if we want to. We could just do it if we want to, but it's like money stacking season. You feel what I'm saying? So. Oh, word? That's nice. You a, you a nice boyfriend. So, Shido. This guy's a nice boyfriend. There's not a lot of nice boyfriends. That's nice.
Well, making six figures helps a lot. It definitely helps a lot because a lot of girls, they expect the dude to be like a 100% provider. But you got to figure out, you know, what kind of girl it is, right? If she's a girl that's, that's looking for a provider, then yes, then you're going to need money if you want that type of person. Because some girls, that's what they're looking for. But if you're smart, you probably wouldn't want a girl like that. What the fuck? I think it's maintenance, right? Yep, it's maintenance. Yeah, like honestly, at least for me, like my like I make money and my girlfriend make money, and I think that's the best type of relationship to have. To be real with you, they y'all both have y'all own money, and y'all both spend y'all own money on y'all own things, and then if y'all go out together, y'all both split the bill, because that's what me and my girlfriend do on everything. We split, we we literally split everything. Like everything, we split everything. Like one time we treat, like, you know, sometimes we treat each other, right? Like I'll buy her son or she'll buy me. But like, yeah. So you gotta, you gotta see what kind of relationship you, you gonna be in. Cause I think, cause there's some girls that want a hundred percent provider, right? And those relationships is kind of rough for the dude. Cause you're going to be paying for everything. And she's not going to be paying for nothing. I don't know. I don't know. There's some guys in that situation, but like I wouldn't like I don't think that's a situation that most dudes want to be in. You know what I'm saying? The the one that you pay for everything and she don't got no job and she's not working and she's not getting no bread at all and it's just you 100%. Some dudes would some dudes will settle for that just cuz they think the girl is bad or whatever. They'll just do that. Which is like which is like crazy. Yeah. And you get to the point where you can do that. Not really, Rafi. That's only if you like. That's only if you thirsty and you. I can't really use the word that I wanna. I wanna say, but you know what I'm talking about. If you that, then yeah, that's it for you. And that literally shows that you have no confidence. You got no standards or nothing. You just like. You basically low tier. That's that's the that's the word I'm gonna use. You basically low tier. Like that, if that's that, cause you know, you just gonna get like, there's a, there was a dude that was teaching another dude. There's a video I saw, right? There was a dude that was teaching another dude how to get girls or whatever in the street. And, and um, this girl definitely finessed the dude and was like, yeah, I go out with you, but you gotta take me shopping. And the dude dead ass like took her shopping. Like that's a no, no. Like if a girl only give you her number, if you take her shopping, like that's a no, no. You already, you already know what that is. But some dudes will do that because they thirsty. Yeah, some dudes will do that. He's like, oh, I'll give you my number. You just got to take me shopping, though. And he was like, all right. And he bought her shit. I'm like, come on now. Come on now. Best advice I have a guy's date with your self-esteem? I think the best advice I'll give your ass is just to do what you want. Be confident and do what you want basically be selfish and what i mean by that be selfish because you know in general girls like dudes that are natural leaders and shit right so by selfish i mean if you if you go out with a girl on a date you plan the date you take away you want to go to you know what i'm saying y'all do what you want to do do you know what i'm saying y'all eat and drink what you want to do you know what i'm saying like you you take the lead you know what i'm saying 
They respect you more. And also have your own opinions, man. Nobody likes somebody that agrees with everything. Because some dudes are mad stiff. Like, even if they don't agree with something a girl's saying, they'll agree with her just because they think the girl's going to like him more or give him cheeks because of that. Don't do that neither. A lot of dudes be doing that stiff-ass shit. They just agree with everything she's saying just because he's like, yo, if I agree with her, she's going to like me more. No, she's not going to like you more. She'll look at you as a friend because you're a sucker that just like everything she liking. Like, be yourself. Like, be yourself, man, and, and say what you want. Of course, don't go too ham with it. Like, you still be respectful, but also have your own opinion, man. Yeah, have your own opinion. Do what you want to do, bro. At the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't do that and you just be like, yo, you know. That's how you get into a subservient relationship. All right, I'll give you another example, right? Let's say you go out with a girl, right? And the first date, the first, like the, not even the first date. The first date, yeah, you pay for stuff, it's fine. But let, let's say you go out with a girl, right? And you pay for everything every single date. You know what's going to happen when you end up in a relationship with her? She's going to expect you to always do that. And when you stop doing that, it's going to go sour. So that's why from the get-go, you know what I'm saying? You got to make the shit even, my mans. From the get-go, you got to make that shit even. Like, yeah, pay on the first date, whatever, right? But as the shit goes on, you want to make it even, you know what I'm saying? So she don't, like, you don't always want to get hit with, yo, I'm going to pay for everything type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because then you just uh, you just the, the, the dependent person. You get what I'm saying? You the 100% dependent person. That's always going to uh, have to pay for everything and be the provider. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving y'all tech, bro. Y'all probably won't hear this in no other Tekken stream because I don't even think Tekken players get cheeks like that. Because people can say whatever they want about me, but every time people see me, I've always had a girlfriend. So what that what that tell you about me? That tell me that I know what I'm doing. If every Tekken game I have a girlfriend. Now, that's a lot. Of, there's, seven, there's seven Tekken games, right? I always had a different girlfriend. When I was competing or when I was out there, I always had a girlfriend. So... Dude's been playing for like 20 years, can't even get one girlfriend. So. My anniversary coming up too. Like, my, I'm about to be, it's about to be like seven years for my girl, me and my girl. Almost seven years. He said, is that bad or good? Well, nothing in life. Experience is never bad, man. As long as you get experience, bro, that's good. Yeah, as long as you get experience, it's good, man. So it doesn't matter if if some shit doesn't work out. Like, it's fine. At least you get experience and you, and you learn. Life is about learning, man. Because if you just think if you just think about your L's or whatever, like, that's just not going to work out. Can I get one girlfriend? You could if you, if, you, if you listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you, you could. You, th you definitely speaking, to, but we talking about... Yeah, but they could fix all of that, though. You could fix all of that. If you don't like the way you look and shit, like, just work out and shit, right? Fix yourself. As a dude, you could fix yourself, man. To be real with you, like, it's not, like, for a man... Like, come on, we dudes, man. It's not hard to fix yourself, man. You want to look good? Go to a barbershop, get a haircut, bro. You want to look nice? Go to the store and buy some new clothes. Buy some new sneakers. You know what I'm saying? That shit not hard, man. Even the biggest dude, bro, could look fresh, bro. I seen some big ass fresh dudes, bro. You don't need much, man, besides a clean haircut, smell good, and some nice clothes. That's all you need. <laughs> That's literally all you need, bro. My man jokes you. I literally told you when it comes to a dude, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you ugly, bro. If you got confidence and you dress nice, you be all right. If you got confidence, you dress nice, you could you can make the, the, the girl laugh, you got jokes, you know what I'm saying? You be all right. All right. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real, right? Cause we talking about this shit, right? We talking about this shit, right? Alright. 
All right, let's say, all right, when a, when, a, when a girl look at you, right? When a girl look at you, right? All right, let's put it. When a guy looks at a girl, he can already tell if he going to like her or not, right? By the way she look, right? A girl could look at you and, and, and think you ugly, right? But you could definitely change her mind if you got swag and you make her laugh and shit like that. You could definitely change your mind. But when a, when a guy looks at a girl and he don't like the way she look, like, you can't really change a dude's mind. You get what I'm saying? So that should that should already give you enough info of how things work. So even if you if you consider yourself ugly, because that's just a, oh, that's a mental thing with you, you could still change somebody's opinion by having swag and cock. Because she could look at you and think you're stiff, right? But then you, if you funny and you cool and shit and all of that, she could change her mind about you. You know what I'm saying? Plus, everybody likes different shit. Like, everybody likes different, like, everybody likes people, like, everybody got different tastes, man. So it's like, whatever, man. You just gotta, got, you just gotta have confidence, man. Even if somebody thinks you, if you think yourself is ugly, there's somebody out there that think you cute. You need to have confidence, man. Unless you like an eight or ten, then you ain't getting it. Nah, man. You gotta have confidence, man. Even if, even if she's like that, bro. Everybody's eight and tens is different. Like a girl could be a, a five to somebody else, but be a ten to you, just because her personality is got like. Yeah, man. Just because a girl look like mad good to you, like her personality could be whack, and then that that lowers whatever rating you giving her. Cause just cause you look pretty don't mean you got like, cause it be a there could be a girl that's like probably like a five or a four or something, and then she goes up in rating cause she mad dope. Yeah, but that's honestly like. Fudo got mass status because he's like a super, he's a super duper esports athlete. Now I'm not, I'm not, yo, I'm not saying that, Noodle. I'm not saying that. I, 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 I'm gonna ask you a question, then, Noodle. What about if a girl's like an eight or nine to you? She's like a like a nine or ten or or like a like a high eight or whatever, but her personality's horrible. Like she got a horrible personality, like horrible. She like 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 all she look for money, all types of shit. She's just horrible. Would you rather go out with her, or would you rather go out with the girl that you consider like a five or a six? That's mad cool, and, and and likes all the games you do, and she could play games with you, and you could talk about movies and comics and all types of shit. Like what you what you rather go out with? Oh, that's cause you that's cause you toxic. He said he said I'm way too pretty of a dude to pull girls like that. I'm done with the, I'm done with this man real noodle. Cause he look like Chris Pratt, so he could say all that shit. That man noodle look like some Chris Pratt ass dude. He look like some Guardians of the Galaxy ass dude. So that's why he could say all of that shit. You ever seen Noodle? He look he looked like fucking Chris Pratt. He look like Rocket Raccoon should be next to him. That's why he's saying all that extra shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you met Noodle in person, though, so you probably know better than me. Oh, so you're talking about, like, FT, right? FT gonna stay single forever, and he's just gonna be a, 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 a bachelor, like the show. Let's get it. I'm done. He said he got the Justin Bieber voice, but you get what I'm saying, man. Like, 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 uh, personality goes a long way. Personality goes a long ass way, dude. It goes a long way, man. At least for me, man. At least, at least, at least for me, bro. If I can't talk to a girl, and I, you know, y'all know how I am now, though. 
Like, if I just don't get along with you, I'm not going to like you, regardless how you look. Like, I'm just not going to get along with you. I'm really not going to get along with you. Like, at, at all. Like, you just not, you're not even, I'm, I'm not even going to be, like, friends with you. But luckily for me, like, like, I'm good. Yeah, like, I'm good. Like, my girlfriend likes the same shit I like, and she cool, so I don't got nothing to worry about in, in that department. What's good, Trev? I, I see now dudes can't complain. Yeah, because that's all you that's all you showing. And and off the back, off the back, you know what I'm saying? If you be like, yeah, look at my money, and she like, yo, I like you now. You know what I'm saying? Like those those pranks, right? With with a show you don't like the dude, and then he showed a guy like ass car, and then she wanna get in. That's on you if you still let it rock. That's literally on you if you still let it rock, man. You gotta know what's good, man. You gotta literally you gotta literally know what's good. That's on you, man. So it's up to you to, to show what kind of what kind of energy you got. Yeah, that's on them. That's that's why when people, yo, Shoshito, when people get finessed and they complain about it, that's like, come on now. Like I ain't say no name. He praising them all on the joint and they just calling him a creep, bro. That's all they doing to him, man. That's all they doing to him. I don't even feel bad for him. At first I felt bad for him, but I'm like, come on, are you doing it to yourself, man? You see that these that these girls don't want nothing to do with you. And you still doing that. You making a you making yourself look like a fool. Oh, that's OD. Yeah, that's OD noble mind. But yeah, I feel bad for this dude. Uh, he just he just needs way more swag or somebody to teach him. Cause it's not like it's unteachable. But he complained a lot, man. Oh, you know a guy like that too? I know a Tekken player that played Huaran. I'm not gonna say his name. But on, on Twitter, he always complained about how he can't get a girlfriend or how his girlfriend dumped him. I ain't gonna say no names, but it, it seems like a lot of Tekken players have issues with that in that department. But yeah, he played Huaran. He always complaining about how he can't get cheeks on Twitter. But it seems like a lot of Tekken players do that shit. It's weird. I don't know what's good with dudes, man. Nah, it's not him. It's not him. It's not. Nah, it's not him. 